Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Cindy, can you hear me? Gilberto? Yeah, yeah, yes, miss. Hi. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you so much. <clears throat> How are you doing today? C Cindy? Gilberto? I'm um, fine. fine. Thank you. Thank you. Very well. Thank you so much for asking. What about you, Gilberto? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, good. Rodrigo? Welcome. How are you Hello, doing today? Teacher. Hi. Um, it, it was fine. I have a, mm, a little movement in the office because we have visits from our, uh, from one of the directors of the company. So uh, we have a, at least two two reunions and one meeting via, via Zoom. Via Zoom. So I, mm -hmm, so, uh, well, I am a little uh, stressed about that. Ah, uh, I'm really sorry. But uh, but for all, I think it was fine today. Okay, that is good. Thank you so much, Rodrigo. Well, welcome, lady Nancy. I hope you are okay. Welcome. Thank you so much for being on time. Welcome, Kathy. Okay. Um, we're going to start uh, the class. This is the class number six. Today is Thursday, October 11, 11th, 2023. So today we're going to we're going to discuss about the process to conduct a product test. I don't know why. Um, it doesn't, okay, the key word is in, is in Spanish, I don't know, that is why it's always, you will see words in Spanish, okay, then we have a conversation, okay, Um. at the end of this class, you will be able to determine the best strategies to apply to conduct a product test. Okay, that is the main objective for this class. So, to start, I have uh, um, some steps, step by step. Okay, steps in a product development. Ve very easy. So, I just want that you organize the steps. So, Gilberto, which one do you think that is the first one? So we have decide a prototype, test out the product, research the idea, analyze the results, improve the design, solve the problems, manufacture the product. Which one do you uh, think that is the first one? I think teacher test out the product number first. Okay, what is the first one? I'm sorry. Test out test? the pro see, test, test out, test the, out product? the products. Mm. Okay, when you are going to start uh um, design a prototype. When you are going to start, for example, yesterday when you started to create 
the the activity what was the main what was the first step do you remember in in my case uh, i test on my client the the then the i need products uh, mm -hmm. because you are, you already have the product but i imagine that you don't have anything so you don't know how to, uh which product you are going to to test so what will be the first step? Uh, in, in, in the case, design prototype. Mm, no. Research the idea. Because you don't have any okay. idea yet. Okay. Right? Uh -huh, that will be the first one. Okay. Um, Cindy Delgado. Which one do you think that will be the second one? Maybe design a prototype. Okay. Okay, number third, number three, Rodrigo. We have, if we have the first two, Rodrigo, which one do you think that will be the third step? So you are on mute. Rodrigo, you are on mute. On mute. <laughs> uh, manufacture the product. Okay, manufacture the product. Okay. Uh, Daniela, which one will yeah, be teacher. number four? Um, improve, the, improve the design. Improve the design? Mm. No. No. Any other idea? If that is not improved, the design. Test out the product. Test out the product. Okay. Okay. Nancy, are you available, Nancy? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Number fifth. Which one do you think that will be? Improve the design. Improve the design. Okay, number six. Kathy? Solve the problem. Solve the problem. And number seven, analyze the result. Someone who wants to change, try to read them and let me know if you would like to change the order. Sorry, just a moment. Someone that would like to change the order? Or do you think that everything is okay? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Okay, first we're going to research, right? We are going to make a research because we don't have any idea about what we're going to do. Second, we are going to design a prototype. Okay, once that you have designed the prototype, do you consider it that we are going to manufacture the product or you are going to test out the product first before manufacturing the product? The test out the, the product teacher, uh -huh. I think. Will be the test, right? Okay, after the test, 
we are going to analyze because when you test something, you have results, right? You are going to analyze the results. After that, you have the results. If you have problems with the results, what you are going to do? Solve uh -huh. the, the problem. Solve the problems, okay. Once that you have solved the problems, what you need to do? Do it better, right? Improve the design. Once that you have the design that you have improved, you are going to start to manufacture the product, right? You see the sequence makes sense, right? Okay, let me submit then. Okay, very good. Okay, I bring these steps today because we're going to think about uh, one product, well, we can take into account the, the one that we already have in the previous activity that we did yesterday, and we can improve that, or we can take the idea from that product, or you are free to change the idea if you want. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Oh, let me read the chat. Okay, and this is that is driving almost right to my house. Okay, and this. Thank you so much for letting us know. Okay. Um, okay, we're going to continue. Okay, have you ever heard the term product testing? There are two primary types of tests to evaluate a product the site and handling test and the use test. What do you know about them? Uh-huh. Any information that you know about that? Have you designed a new product in your company that you work with? Uh, what do you do to test, to evaluate a product? Opinions? Analyze. Okay. First, Gabriela, and then Carlos. Sorry. <laughs> yes, Gabriela? Uh, analyze the, the, the product and the information in the test. Mm -hmm. Okay. Analyze the product after the test, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Thank you so much, Gabby. Carlos? Yes, teacher. I have a question, teacher. What mean the site? The seek or the site? I don't know. Um the site. The site. Yes. Yes. So what do you think according to to the context? Because we are analyzing a product. So what do you think that is that? According to the to the context. Any idea? It's like a point point of view, maybe. Aha, uh -huh, point of view. The ability to see. Okay, the product. Okay. Uh, yes, it's a previously to um uh, to launch the product. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that it's important to uh, uh, to do a survey and analyze the results. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. That will be um, that will be 
like insight by right? information that you will receive from from uh, uh, the public in this case uh, that is part of how to handle the product before launch the product to the market right yes yes okay and the use test which one do you think that is mm -hmm. any idea Teacher is like a game, game, uh, uh, the people that tasted the product, maybe, and okay. then analyzed, and then, then analyzed and the result that people like it or, or not like it. Okay. The, the item or product, obviously, or service, maybe. Okay. Yes. That is an idea, it could be. Okay. Um, We're going to continue speaking about these topics during the next activities, okay? First, we have a conversation that is, it is related to the same, to the same topic. Okay, we have, it says product testing, okay? When, when we pro, when we test a product, product testing are necessary procedures to be followed uh, before deciding to create a new product, okay? Always it will be like that, okay? With well, that first, uh, that product need to be tested to see if that will be a good decision for the company. So the following conversation feature features a group of managers in a meeting to discuss the strategies for testing their new product. Read the conversation. So I need Mr. Veles, okay, and Miss Ayala. So who wants to be Mr. Veles? Okay, Rodrigo. And Carlos, you will be Mrs. Ayala. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, Rodrigo. <clears throat> Good morning. I'm thrilled to announce we have green light to work on our latest product testing task. Uh, one of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the job well i agree with you mr ayala the efforts this task requires are important to take in, into account uh definite definitely i have already written some idea for a monadic test so we can discuss them take a look good job but have you figured figure out the cost some difficult decisions to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. Uh, one of the most important factor in this job is manage, managing, managing costs. And I am good at that. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Latest. Rodrigo. Latest. Latest. Mm -hmm. Latest. Okay. Uh, that's really good. Effort. This one, it sounds like a, yeah, okay. Effort. It is Efforts. no E. It's E. Uh, okay. Efforts. Okay. Okay, really good. Thank you so much. Sure. Yes. Mana, ma, mana, managing, how do you uh, pronounce? Managing. 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 Um, yes. Ah, managing. Okay. Mm 
Managing thank you, thank you. cost. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, Andres and Gilberto. I saw Gilberto, you want to participate, correct? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, Andres, you will be Mr. Velez and Gilberto will be Mrs. Ayala. Okay, teacher. Good morning. I tr thrilled to announce announce we have green light to work on our la latest 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 product testing task. One of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you made to do the job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The efforts this task requires are important to take into account. Definitely, I have already written some idea for a monetary test so we can discuss then take a look. Take a Good look. job. But take a look. Good job, but have you figured it, figure it out the cost? Some difficult decisions to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss, I one of the most important factors in these jobs in managing costs, and I good have that. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Okay. Definitely. Repeat that, Gilberto. Definitely. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So this one, uh, Andres is 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 linked. Okay, as it is together. Yeah. The pronunciation. Figure out. Figure, figure out. out. Figure out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Figure out. Yes, that is a phrasal verb. That means resolve, right? Find a solution. Or discovery. Okay. Very good. Uh, thank you so much. Any Excuse other? Me. Yes. Excuse me. What's mean? Uh, a monadic test. Monadic. We are going to see that later on. We have a definitions for that. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yes. Okay. Um. Any other par participant who wants to practice pronunciation? Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. Um. Someone else. Mauricio. Thank you, Mauricio. Okay, Mauricio, you will be Mr. Vélez, and Nancy will be uh, Mrs. Ayala. Okay. Good morning. I feel to announce we have green light to work on our latest product testing takes. One of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The efforts this task, this task requires are, are important to take into account. Definitely. I have a re a really writing some ideas for a mon monadic test, so we can discuss them. Take a look. Good job. But have you figured, figured out the cost? Some difficult decisions to make refer to to fancy materials and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the things, one of the most important factors in this job is man managing cost, and I'm good at uh, at that. Okay, thank you so much, Nancy. Yes. Please try to repeat. Uh... Let me see. Definitely. 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 
Yes. Uh -huh, that one. That you need to improve. And this one is effort, not effort, okay? Effort. Effort, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Then everything is okay. Thank you so much. Another question you may have. No? Okay. Thank you so much for your participation here. We are going to discuss these questions about that conversation. What product testing strategy is mentioned in the conversation? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll play, I will um, display the conversation again in order you can see. What product testing strategy is mentioned in the conversation? Hmm. Any idea? What would be the strategy? Okay, remember that is a testing, okay, a product testing a strategy. Mm -hmm. Mauricio, any idea? I can see you ha You raised your hand. Uh, well, teacher, maybe we'll say uh, product testing test task. Mm -hmm. That is a strategy, the product testing is, uh, a strategy. What is that? Yeah. Product testing. The product testing task. Uh-huh. Task. Product yeah. testing task. What's the meaning of I'm I'm thrilled, teacher? Thrill it. Thrill it. I'm thrilled to announce. Uh huh. Any idea? What means thrill it? Any idea that comes to your mind? because of the context? No? When you are happy to announce, okay? I'm really happy to announce, we we have a, gray, a green light to work, okay? So, um, our latest product testing task. That is thrilled when you are really um, motivated or happy to announce that. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, he is excited. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Product testing task. The yeah, green it light. Be, it could be. It could be an strategy. Yeah, we have green light. It means um, now we can do it. Maybe before uh, we cannot do it because um, we were still working on that. But now we already completed. And now we can do it. Right? So that is oh, green okay. light. Mm hmm <laughs> Okay, um, what is specific concern does Mr. Velez have about the product? What is a concern? 
Do you know what is a constraint? Uh huh. Uh -huh. This, the me teacher, what's mean concern? That he was yeah. worried about that. It's like uh, inquietude. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is specific concern does Mr. Bellis have about the product? Uh, well, uh, it refers uh, the his concern is about the cost. The cost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, about the material, right, and quality. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Thank you so much, Rodrigo. Okay, what is Mr. Avila in charge of? Mm hmm In charge of it is in the in the last line. Managing the cost. He's in charge of that. Right? Okay. Good. Really good. Now Talking about the same topic, we're going to um take a look of some examples. In this case, bear agreement, okay? So bear agreement and uh, a complex subject. How to achieve bear agreement? So when you listen that bear agreement, what comes to your mind? Talking about grammar, of course. Um. Mm -hmm. It's like if we have some business, we close a agreement. Mm. If we, if yes, I mean it, it is related. Agreement, yes, es llegar a un acuerdo, right? But in, in any topic, so, but in this case, in grammar. In grammar, what is a verb agreement? Verb agreement. Estamos hablando de los verbos en este caso. So what do you know about verb agreement? Mm hmm I'm going to explain it very easy in order you can understand. In Spanish. Por ejemplo, si yo tengo un verbo ter en tercera persona, okay, yo voy a tener cuidado que lo que le sigue va a ser acorde a la tercera persona. Si es singular o si es plural. For example, we have here the first of the decisions. Okay. We we are speaking about the first here. Okay. We're talking about just one. Okay. The first of the decisions has been made to go ahead with the plan. So why we have have and we don't have why we why we have has and we don't have have. Because it's third person. Because it's third person. Just, just uh -huh, because it's first. First. Very good. That is why we had has. This is very agreement. Okay. Eh, en la oración, todo tiene que ir acorde a el sujeto que se está hablando, si es singular o plural. Eh, aquí no puede ir el have, porque estamos hablando de uno, un first here. Okay. Okay. Here is an example in plural. Some, okay, some means more than one. Okay. Some difficult decisions to take in a relation to fancy material are, okay, 
que no, no puede ir is, porque estamos hablando de varias decisiones. ¿Ok? Are about the cost and quality. Yes? Any question you, you may have so far about their agreement? But in Spanish, uh, this the sense is, um, I don't know how do you say it's different, right? When you translate, uh, the the sense is uh, okay. For example, in 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 Spanish, it says se ha tomado la primera de las decisiones para seguir adelante con el plan, algo así, verdad? Uh, if you translate this sentence, it will be una de las decisiones que se ha tomado, uh, que se han hecho, es seguir con el plan. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and ese sería algunas eh, decisiones difíciles se han hecho en relación con el material caro son uh -huh, algunas decisiones difíciles que se han hecho en relación con el material uh, fancy means uh, very uh, expensive right or is good in quality um, aquí estamos hablando que es plural son acerca de el costo y la calidad ok Good. Um, that is bare agreement. Okay, just be careful that you don't mix um, the verbs that are no according to the subject or um, if that is plural or singular. Okay, we have here another example. It says here the first refer to one of the decision. So the verb must be in singular form, has. It is explanation about this, this one, A. Okay, we have a B. One of the good things I like about working with you all is, okay, estamos usando is porque estamos hablando de uno. Is the effort you make to do the, the job right. Okay, here one is a single of various good things. So the verb must be also singular. That is, is. Okay, uh, we have an example, another example here. Mm, talking about the first one it says, here some refer to, the, to more than one difficult decision, plural, okay. So the verb must be plural are. Okay, it is it is talking about this one. Majority of the number take plural verbs when they are used with plural nouns. For example, a majority of product developers prefer to use blind test. We're going to see what is a blind test too. Okay, we're going to see definitions for that. Majority of the product developers, okay, estamos hablando de que es, esto es, singul, es plural también, prefer, okay, no le agregamos S al verbo porque estamos hablando de plural. Si fuera singular, le tendríamos que agregar S al verbo para que uh, tenga el verb agreement. Okay, um, do you have questions about this? Any questions that you may have? Teacher, excuse me, uh, may I repeat the last explanation? Uh, okay. When you, when you uh, uh, spoke about uh, the last sentence, yes, prefer- mm -hmm, This one, am I your Mm -hmm. Of product developers. Oh, okay. Okay, estamos hablando de que esto es plural. Mm -hmm. 
Ok. Ok. Por eso, porque es plural, no le vamos a agregar S al verbo. Si fuera singular, sí. Le agregaríamos S porque sería tercera persona. Pero es plural. Por eso, prefer va sin S. Hmm. Ok. Ok. Um, básicamente, la explicación del verb agreement sería, si yo estoy, yo estoy hablando en singular, mi, el verbo que yo voy a usar va a ir acorde a, a singular, ¿ok? Tercera persona, singular, eh, sería que a los verbos, si estoy hablando en presente, le voy a agregar S, ¿ok? okay? Eso lo hemos visto, eh, pero con otro punto gramatical, pero en realidad es lo mismo. Quizás lo hemos visto como... Simple presence rules. When you add yes. uh, third person, uh, when you add S or it depends of the verb, también depende del verbo, le agregamos S, IS o ES al verbo. Depende de, de, del tipo de verbo que se vaya a usar. Ok. okay. okay. That is verb agreement. I don't know if that is clear or, or do you need more examples? Necesitamos más ejemplos? Yes, yes, teacher, please. Yes, teacher, please. Okay. Let me open. Let me open a new one. Their agreement. That is the topic, right? Okay, if I say Carlos, um, give me an example, Carlos, about you in okay. using simple presence. Yes. Uh, uh, play soccer. Mm -hmm. What is missing in that sentence? Play. Okay. Le falta la S. Eso es el ver agreement. Okay. Uh, estoy utilizando el verbo de acorde a el subject. Sujeto que tengo, ¿ok? Um, y si It's digo... Singular subject. Singular subject. Third person. Yes. If I say Carlos N. Gilberto. Play soccer. ¿Está bien o me falta la S? Está bien. It's okay. Está bien. It's okay, right? Because I'm talking about two people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I can okay. say uh, the child becomes happier. And the other example could be the children become happier. Mm -hmm. The children become happy. Happier. Or happier. Happier, yes. The Perfect. child becomes happier. Okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. That is verb agreement. The verb will be according to the huh? subject. subject. Mm -hmm. Okay. The singular and plural is the pen of the of the uh, is singular or plural. 
correct. It depends on the subject. If I am speaking about, uh, for example, they, mm -hmm. they play soccer. It's good or uh, it's missing one letter here? No, it's good, teacher. It's good, right? Good. Teacher, I uh, have another example. Okay. The the author analyzes the text. Uh, mm, analyzes. Analyzes the text. Analyzes. Mm -hmm. The text. And the miss one H uh, between. T and O in author. Oh, yes. And the other in plural subject is the authors analyze, analyze the text. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of course. Okay. So it's clearer now what is um bird agreement. Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. Yes. Um Bear agreement is just make sure, right, that you use the correct verb according to the subject. That is basically bear agreement. Um, here is given examples um, about any, well, random, in this case, examples, right? For ex It's talking about the first, it's talking about decisions. Okay, but we know if that is one or two decisions. Okay, and it says that is the first decision, so it means that is plural. That is singular. I'm sorry, and some decisions means that is plural. Okay, it is called complex subjects. Por qué complex? Porque son un poquito más complejo esos sujetos. Okay, we're talking about decisions. Here we are talking about good scenes. Okay. Okay, good. So, we're going to continue. Here we have a statement that we are going to choose the very for, for that agrees with the subject. Okay, compare your answer with your partner. Well, in this case, we're going to do that together. Let me, um, I guess I can use this one, this one. Okay, some of the participants in the testing group have or it has? Have. 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 Why? Because we are speaking about plural, right? Some. Mm -hmm. Some. No are right yet. Have no are right yet. Okay. One of the factors to decide on the best type of test is or is. are? Is. 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 Right? Because we're talking about? One. One. Singular subject. Correct. Okay, a number of customers mm -hmm. are are right are okay. A number of customers are satisfied with the performance of the new mop. Okay, very good. The first of the suggestions, the first is is. Is, so the suggestion is, I want to implement is the design of the label. Okay, good. 
The majority of testers uh, have, 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 have mm -hmm, because uh, it's plural uh, have uh, pointed out the need to make our project lighter. Okay. A member of comments. No, sorry, a number of comments. Uh -huh. Yes. Suggest. Yes. 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 Because it's yes. plural. Yes. Suggest that the, yes. the fragrance mm -hmm. of uh, the candle is the best characteristic. Okay. Really good. Very good. Thank you so much. Good examples. Very agreement, right? Very good. Okay. Um, here we have some definitions. Just allow me a moment. I need to check something here. Okay, I'm going to give you uh, from three to five minutes to read all these terms, okay? And then we're going to match them. The terms is the, in the chart below describe the type of test and research method connected to product testing. Okay, now we're going to define the product testing uh, examples. We're going to match uh, all the definitions, okay? We have site and handling test, use test, branded test, blind test, monadic, monadic method, sequential monadic method, and paired comparison test. Okay, try to have an idea about what is the meaning of each one. I may already make sure, okay, that I have the correct ones <laughs> to avoid what happens last time. Mauricio, do you have questions? I see you have your you have raised your hands. Uh, yes, teacher. Um, I don't know what means monadic metal. Monadic. Okay. So let me help you with that one. Okay. Monadic means by will be number five. Consumers mm -hmm. I'm sorry, will be number uh, the second one, I'm sorry. Because the consumers use the product in real circumstances, right? They use a product side side handle handle it and rate it later. This is the means of the uh, monadic method, teacher. Correct. Uh, okay. So what is the first step that they they, they use? They vis visualize the product, right? They handle it, and then they rate it. So they they 
provide like a punctuation or a score to the product. That is a monadic method. Teacher, in other words, the people could be approval or dislike the product. Correct. Like a result. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. For example, it can be done as survey research, right? I can I can re I can create a survey. And I can uh, introduce uh, the product in the survey, right? And you are going to provide your your um, um, opinions. So I'm going to be visualize the product through your comments or opinions. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm hmm I can compare also the product, right? Probably with another product, similar pro product. Okay. We are going to have, let me see. This one, this is number five. Okay. Site and handling test. Which one do you think that is that one? Mm, consumers use a product, site, eat, and handle. Oh, do you remember what we said that is site? Point of view. Point of view. Ha <laughs> ha. So that means that you are going to in a way you are going to view right the product. Probably this test is a good option when there are significant tactile or visual elements. Correct. Mm -hmm. That will be signed in handling the test. This test is good option when there are significant tactile or visual elements of the product for consumers to experience. Okay, very good. So use test. Use test. What we say about that, about that? It could be a sample, right? So in that case will be consumer take the product to be used either as a sample or for an extended period if they would usually use it in their own home. They can test it in their own home. So that will be use test. Okay, what is a blind test? The last is, one. <laughs> the last one? See, products are test unbraided. So the customer focuses strictly on the product's characteristic and not on, on the brand name. Correct. Correct. Unbranded, right? That is the, mm -hmm. the key word. Very good. Thank you so much. Now we have number five that is here. So then we have number... Um, well, what is the one that we are missing? Oh, branded test. We are missing branded test. Number three, we didn't. Okay. So what is branded test? Do you know what is a brand, right? Marca. Mm -hmm. What will be the definition for this one? Branded test. We already have the brand. Any idea? In consumers, 
the consumers are aware of the brand they are trying. This test better reflects the real the real world experience and the value of the brand. Very good. Yes, that is the one. <clears throat> they are aware of the brand that they are trying, right? Teacher, that is, is a branded aware? test. What is the meaning of aware? Aware means that they are um conscious. Okay. Okay. So you can you can say an example. I'm aware that I'm doing a bad a bad scenes in my job, or I'm aware that I'm um not performing a a good uh job. So you realize about that, right? That you you know what you are doing about the real uh cause of that problem, probably. So you are you are conscious about that. Okay, good. Uh, then we have se sequential monadic method. Which one do you think that is our one? Mm -hmm. We're missing just two. Number six. Number six. Number, uh, yes. Con yes. Yeah, number six. But what will be the definition? Consumer use a product, say it and handle it. Uh -huh. They rate it. Then they use say, uh -huh. handle another product and rate it. The consumer does not rate both products against each other. Okay. Correct. That is the that is number six. That is uh, step by steps or the the procedure that it, they are going to follow, right? That is why it's a se sequence there. Consumers are use a product, okay? Sigh it, handle it, rate it, use it. Again, they tried another product, they rate it, okay. Uh, the consumer does not rate both products against each other. So they, they just compare them, right? Okay, and the last one that is period comparison test, number seven. Consumer use or site and handle one product and another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer, okay? So this one that is a comparison and they say which one they prefer, okay? In the sequential monadic method, they, don't, they just use both, right? That they qualify both right but they don't um they don't rate against each other so there is no preferences they, they don't say this is my favorite no just test both okay good do you have questions in this um building vocabulary because we have been learning metal uh in um, this case, terms about the different tests that we can have in a product. Any questions that you may have? Uh, yes, teacher. What's mean when I when I say "psych it, handle it, handle it"? Uh, what, what is the idea? Psych it is um. Side what was and... the what was the example of that one I told you? It could be a survey about about that product, right? So you are going to view how other people 
view the product. So you're going to make a summary about other people's of other people's opinions in this case. Es como atender una, una visualización, no solo de cómo usted ve el producto, sino cómo otros lo ven. Cómo otros lo ven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That will be cite, cited. Cited. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And handle it. What is handle? Uh, manejo. Ajá. Okay, manejo. Entonces sería cómo. Lo manejamos o como otros lo manejan. Pero, pero, dice, pero el, el it en, en, en el final, ¿en qué sentido le da? El it se refiere al producto. Ah, ok. Handed it. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. We are talking about one product or we are talking about a. Uh, we refer to it. Right? Cuando hablamos de una cosa. Recuerden que el, el pronombre es it. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok, mm -hmm. okay thank you. Ok. Do you have uh, questions? Another question that you may have about vocabulary that you saw here. Let me know. Teacher, this topic is very common in a call center, maybe, or, or, um, or a survey, maybe. Only survey or launch product, etc. It depends on the line of business that you are. Because if you are in health uh, line of business, that ha everything has to do with uh, insurances, for example, company insurances. So you will see everything about the plans that they, that the uh, customers, or in this case, uh, members use, right? There are different kind of medical plans so you will see a variety of medical plans for dentals vision and other benefits that they can get it will depends on the product it depends on the line of business if you work for example for sony right so you will see a product that are with that brand right so you will be like a tech support okay yes. uh-huh if you work for PlayStation, for example, there is another line of business, PlayStation, that everything that has to do with uh, games. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It depends on the video games, right? It depends on the line of business that you work for. That will be the terminology and uh, the product, right, that you will see. Now we are speaking about, uh, in general, any product that can be uh, created in a company. If that is in case you work for uh, a business, right? That they launch new products or they work with products, right? Any products, it could be any area. These kind of uh, terms will help you to understand, so in that case, uh, the steps or what they need to follow when they create a new product. How to... Whatever, whatever line of business with... Whatever with... line of business, yes. This is in general. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we are not, we are not learning um, a specific... Uh, vocabulary for one specific area we are learning in general topics in general right when we have a um a specific technical uh course it's related to to one topic for example it could be for 
doctors, right? If you if you study a course that is course for a specific purposes, right? English for a specific purposes, that is the name of the courses. Uh, it will be related to that specific area, right? That you work for. If you work for uh, economics, if you are accountant, or if you are a doctor, if you are a nurse, uh, if you are a journalist, so if you are a lawyer, so the the courses will be related to that specific area, English with specific purposes, right? But to take these type of courses, you need to have a base general yeah. english right then you will specialize yourself in that specific area okay good do you have questions about this any other question that you may have please let me know no no tengan miedo, ok, si, si ustedes se sienten que no han entendido, let me know, and we're going to review the, the topic. Okay. Sure, this new vocabulary uh, really in the future will uh, serve because that you mentioned, uh, if uh, we are take decision to uh, study uh, a specific topic uh, mm -hmm. is es seguro eh, that will be eh, eh, we see the this word mm -hmm. for this sure word. yeah for sure you need to have a base base uh, English basics right to to study in a specific area if you want that is why um the main reason for these courses is learn new vocabulary, right? Uh, also, um, master your grammar, your must your speaking skills, listening skills, writing skills, um all the the areas right all the the skills that we need to master and at the end when you get ready when you are uh advanced level so you you will be able to to get ready or to get prepared in any area that you want if you go to work in a call center you will receive a training for one month or more it depends on the area, it depends on the product to prepare you, right? With the vocabulary, um, with the use of tools and everything. And you will be at the end, just um, knowing the, not the, the specific area that you need to know, because that is the work that you're going to perform perform every day you're going to talk about that as the examples that i was providing before if you're working for example in health so you have to to work with um everything related to to medical right you will give you will get prepared in that specific area if you work for tech support, you will get uh, prepared. You will be prepared in that area for tech support. So any area related um, to your job, you will be able to uh, study, review, and be ready. Okay, so we are going to continue because we have another activities. So, uh, we have still time to work on this. It says, uh, we are going to retake, we're going to still a uh, working group, okay? You're going to retake the new product idea. Your group presented in the unit number one. Do you remember unit number one? We worked that yesterday. 
then you are going to discuss two testing strategies. Okay, two testing strategies. What do you remember about that? Testing strategies, we are going to use two of them. We have seven testing strategies here. You can use this one, sites and handling test, use test, branded test, blind test, monadic method, any of this one. So you can use that. Um, to fit the characteristic of the product. It depends on the product that you have selected. Brainstorm the advantages of the testing product using the strategies the group have selected, okay? And then you are going to decide on the best strategy to test the new product, okay? Let me know if you have questions or is clear what you are going to do. Number one. Yes, Carlos? Yesterday, uh, we explained about the launch of the, the a product. Mm -hmm. So uh, in this case, we are retake uh, the same idea and we are choosing the one's uh, strategy, strategy to Testing, analyze it. Correct. One of the testing strategies. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. And according to the characteristic of the product, okay, you are going to analyze the product and you are going to uh, discuss what will be the best test strategy to use. Okay. De acuerdo al producto, ustedes podrán ver cuál es la mejor estrategia to test it, okay? Then you are going to brainstorm the advantages of testing the product using that strategy, okay? Las, ¿Cuáles son las ventajas que ustedes van a tener usando esa estrategia, okay? And at the end, you are going to decide what is the best strategy to test that product. To Any teacher, idea? so we, uh -huh. we first we have to um, discuss for for example from two two strategy strategies of testing the product, and then we have to discuss from the advantages of this testing, and the last we have to select one of these, one of the yeah one of those uh, those um, strategies. Correct. You're going to select the best at the end. Which one do you consider that has been the best strategy to test the product? Right? Is it uh, okay or are you confused? Because I don't receive any, res any response. <laughs> I need that you, you confirm. Yeah, this is good. Good. Are you sure? I don't know. Yes, Wait, yes. Well, yes. for my for myself, it is very clear. It's clear. Okay, good. Please mm, too. Thank you so much. Okay, let me send it uh, by WhatsApp. These instructions, so now you can have them. Well, the test, oh, I'm sorry, the, um, the course, I can see that has been designed because it's not designed by myself. It is designed by um, Inglés Corporativo, right? I can see that has been designed um, to work with companies. It is related to products and it is related to companies. Right. If you realize the previous model was um, talking about basically what we do in, in, in our companies, how we perform our job, how we can improve it. Do you remember that? So.
so has been decided uh, in this way. To know better the company, uh, to know how to handle the product or to have better ideas with the product because you can take some ideas if that help you for your real job, right? You can take some ideas from um, these topics. Okay. Let me call one by one. I guess you remember who are your... Um, Who are your members in your team? I have it, but I, I need to go to open the, the presentation from yesterday. <laughs> Carlos, who was, uh, which, do you remember your, your team number? Uh, yes, uh, Andresito and Robertio. You were team number four? Uh, I think they should. Okay, let me see. Andres. Okay, Carlos, Andres, Robert. Robert is not here today. Okay, well, in that case, you were, you're going to work just uh, you two, okay? Let me see. Gilberto. Yes, teacher. You were in, in the group number... Three uh, or two? Yeah, uh, uh, number fair one number three, no. or number one. Number one. Okay, number one, Gilberto. And you were working with uh, Daniela y Gabriela. Daniela and Gabi. Gabi. I saw Gabby. Are you here, Gabby? Gabby? Mm, she has gone. Okay. I'm going to add Daniela. Rodrigo. Rodrigo? Hello. Yes. You were in, in room number two, right? Yes, but I, I I get confused with all the the girls here. I don't remember the name. I remember the last lady. Ah, yeah, lady. Um, I think it was a. Let me check. Rolando, I think. Rolando, are you available? Rolando. Yes, teacher. Okay. Do you remember that did you work with Rodrigo and and, and Lady, right? Okay. Yes? Okay. Okay, I'm going to add Rolando to, to number room number two. But a lady is no um is not available today. She's sick. So you are going to work just you to you too. Well, let me open the presentation for yesterday because I don't remember either. <laughs> let me see. Yesterday was thinking for for season. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay, Mauricio Buruca, you were working with Maria Leticia and Nancy, correct? Yes, teacher. Yes. And you were in the in the room number three. Number three. Okay, okay. Mauricio. Nancy. 
Maria Leticia is as a listener, but I will add her in, in just for her to listen to you and she can help you, she can do it. Okay, Maria Leticia, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Remember, if you can help her, yes, help then you can do it, okay? If not, just you can be as a listener. Okay, okay, okay. I don't ha I didn't I didn't save the um the name of the groups. I I remember I did have it but just the first three but I didn't save the other okay anyways let me see team number five who was team number five Cindy are you there Cindy yes yes um yesterday yesterday I was not in the meeting you were not no in, no no okay okay so in that case I'm going to assign you to another team Sophia, do you remember who was your teen? Oh no, Sophia is a listener today. Okay, no problem. Julio Aristides, do you remember who was in your team? Yes, teacher. Um, Sophia and Katy. And Katy, okay. Katy, are you available? I can see the word oriented, but I'm not sure if you are available. Um, yes, available, teacher. Okay. So Julio, you will work with Katy. Uh, Sofia is not available today. She is sick. And Lady is sick too. Uh, okay, Cindy, you will work with Katy and Julio. Okay. Thank you so much. So... Let me open the rooms. So if you have questions, please let me know, okay? I will be checking in each room to see what you are doing. I will give you 15 minutes because I consider that you have the main idea. Just what you are going to do is uh, try to test your idea, your product. Select the best strategy to test it, okay? Let me open the rooms. 15 minutes. Okay, we are now. Okay, 9, 9.28. So at 9.35 or 9.40, if I, if I give you extra time, 9.40, you will be back in the main room. Okay, let me open the rooms now. Thank you.
Ajá. del producto y por último dice decidir la mejor estrategia verdad del nuevo producto vaya qué producto vamos a elegir es que ya lo tenemos, es con el que trabajamos con las aceitunas. Ah, el mismo vamos a usar. Sí. Ah, ok. Solo que hoy tenemos que aplicarle. Lo de la estrategia. Los estrategia, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y desarrollar las ventajas del producto. Las ventajas. No, y de, ajá, y a ver cuál es la mejor que, que podemos aplicarle al producto, ¿verdad? Ajá. Como este es un nuevo producto, ¿verdad? Ahí sí tenemos que buscar cómo aplicarle... Una marca, ¿verdad? Cómo plantar esa marca en el cerebro de los clientes, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sería como una estrategia, sería como subirlo a redes sociales. Podría ser porque esa es la nueva manera de... Ajá, es lo, lo que la gente usa para promocionar las cosas. Podríamos ver cómo desarrollamos la estrategia de brand de test, ¿verdad? Es como desarrollarle ya así la marca, ¿verdad? Meterle la marca al cliente, ¿verdad? Entonces le tenemos que poner nombre a nuestra a nuestras aceitunas. Ah, sí, le tenemos que desarrollarle un nombre, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Cómo le vamos a poner? No sé, ¿tiene usted alguna idea ahí, Am? De la, de la marca tal Ajá Entonces definitivamente es Site and handling, and handling Test Esa va Y ver. Teacher Do you know what is uh, Lady I'm sorry what is uh, Do you know what is Lady Because she has uh, oh. The presentation Of yesterday Lady, okay. Let me join her. She's sick, but let me join her to the to the team. At least if he, if he if she can share us the the presentation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see, lady. Lady, we are in group two. Let me send a text message to her. She didn't share the, that um, presentation in, in the group, right? No, 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 teacher. Because uh, she, she worked in, in his cell phone. Mm -hmm. In her cell phone, sorry. Her cell phone. Uh, de ahí, Rolando, puede ser la tres. Esa dos, practicamente. Eh, branded okay. 
porque igual el, el, el cliente es, es consciente que está haciendo uso, o sea, está probando de, de, una, de la X marca. Uh -huh. Básicamente esas. Mm. She does an answer. I guess she she uh, I don't know why. But I don't see that she received the messages. Well, we 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 are going to work without the presentation because we we don't need it. Mm -hmm. I well, I will explain uh, to Rolando about the the exposition from the uh, for from yesterday. Okay. We're well, let me let me call her uh to see if she answered. Uh, we'll make a call and I will let her know to send that. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. We'll be in silent. You can continue working. Okay. Vaya, Rolando. Este. Saquemos, pues, las ideas. Y eso. Ok, vaya. Eso, Entonces, digamos, tomaríamos este. La 1 y la 3. En, en handling test. Eh. Ajá, el Ajá. site and the handling test y el branded test. Branding test. Hmm. Ok, y tomaríamos como la. Eh, para agregar ahí eh, lo demás, ¿verdad? Sí, básicamente, bueno, voy a hacer ahí un, un pequeño resumen. Eh, de, de lo de ayer y en general, eh, se habló, nosotros o sea, hablamos básicamente de la, que como un nuevo desarrollo o la incursión de un nuevo mercado para nosotros en químicos era la industria del cuero, que ya teníamos dos años más o menos de, de haber empezado. Y o la idea es que, o sea, en eso nosotros vendemos las materias primas, o sea, y clientes, um, clientes aquí... I'm sorry, Rodrigo, to interrupt. No, she didn't Ajá. answer. I already called her. But she... No, no problem, teacher. We are, we are going to, to, okay. to, to do something. <laughs> It's okay. Well, thank you. I will be here around. Okay. Hello, Carlitos Hello, and Andresito. Teacher. Oh, what Andresito happened? Andresito is not here, teacher. What happened with, to him? And suddenly he disappeared, teacher. <gasps> oh, he's in the main room. Let me, let me. Bring it. <laughs> We are in the four. Okay, number four. Yes. Yeah, I w I was uh, calling lady because she has a presentation, and she is not available. Um. Okay. Oh. For Rodrigo and and. Uh -huh. Rodrigo Hello. and uh, Rolando, and they were working. They don't have the presentation. Well. Andresito, Hello. what happened to you? Yeah, se salió. Se salió. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you went out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the yeah. internet connection? Yeah, it is possible, teacher. Okay. So you can continue. Uh, any other question that you may have, uh, uh, Carlos? Uh, I don't know, teacher, why born poor teacher. I need I a get... lot of money. <laughs> why born? Why born poor? <laughs> okay. Well, we need we need to work very hard. When others yeah, are sleeping, we 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 have to be working and studying. Yes, of course. Yes. yes. Excuse me for this word. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, just... no okay. and that is that is true. So. I know that you are not like that, but there are some people that they complain about the, um, I mean, the situation that they have, right? But they, they don't do anything to, to change that. Yes, 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 mm -hmm. of course. 
Yes, uh, I suddenly uh, think that philosophan. I, I don't know if you say philosophan. <laughs> So yes, philosophy. Uh, it's, it's like a uh, lagunas mentales teacher. Excuse oh. me. No, but you are good. You will, you will. Um, if you, which another job or a better job, you will have it. Just work for it. Yes. Okay. 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 Uh, yes, with Andresito teacher, uh, we speak about uh, strategies of. Um, I don't know. Test, testing, yes. Testing strategies. Uh -huh. Testing, is, yes. Uh, we think we talk about blind test. Uh, uh, blind test. Really, Andresito? Yeah, yeah. Because we uh, yesterday we talk about um uh, food mm -hmm. for the chicken for season. So I told I told to Carlos that in this case the blind test. Is one good definition because the consumer focuses in the straw and the characteristics of the product, mm -hmm. and no more in the brand. Correct. Because it's like a new product, and the the chicken, of course, have a lot of competitors. So yeah, the 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 first example is the the consumers or the the customers they have to to focus in the in the characteristics of the product no more not in the brand because they don't know what is this brand because it's new the All idea right. is the consumer tasted the uh, tasted mm -hmm. tasted the receipt or yes receipt of the product correct it is the grandma's receipt mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, grandma's, it's a secret. Grandma's, grandma's recipes. Recipes. Grandma's recipes. Yes. Okay. Yes, that well, that is a good strategy. The blind test. Okay. Good. Okay. Very good. Now just focus. Uh, the explanation of that. Okay. How to explain the 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 strategy that you are going to apply. If teacher, you consider that is the best, that is that will that is the best. Yes. Teacher, uh, in the end of the these strategies, uh, what happened when we have the result of the customer? Uh, for example, but I need to put the name of the product, so uh, is uh, I don't know how how do you say that it uh. Maybe uh, we talk about with rains or jets. O, o, le, le, o sea, teacher, le, después de, de tener el resultado, eh, hay que ponerle un nombre, un brand. Branded right? test. Mm -hmm. Yes, in that case will be branded test. When they are aware about the brand, right, that they are consuming. Because uh -huh. they already tasted, they already have sample of that. Yet without brand. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Nice teacher. Thank you. I will go Thank to you. check another groups to see what they are doing. In case you need help, just request it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Eh, al no ser una marca reconocida eh, eh, tendría poca poco recibimiento podría tener ajá, po ajá, poca aceptación exacto do you need more time guys or everything is okay yes um, teacher I think <laughs> we need more time teacher okay how much how long mm -hmm. All the weekend, teacher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you are going to bring a real product, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, see, but we need uh, about, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes, maybe. 15 minutes? 
<laughs> oh no, I will give you around 10 minutes, okay? Because we need to complete the the, the homework. Okay, so the presentation you can do it tomorrow, but uh, yes, we're going to complete the homework for today. Oh, okay. 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 At nine fifty-five, I'm going to to close the rooms. Okay, perfect, okay. teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, try to <clears throat> try to talk about the. The three points that you are going to discuss today. So the first one you already have it. That is then the idea of the product. So you, you are going to discuss the strategies that you are going to test, that, that you are going to use to test the product, right? Um, and you are going to select the best strategies to do it. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Basically, you're going to explain the strategies that you deci decided to use based on the product, based on uh, <clears throat> the kind of product that you have. And at the end, you're going to explain what are, what is what are the best strategies and why. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. See you at the main room around uh, 9.55, okay? Okay, teacher, of yes. course. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Ya sé que una ventaja que se va a alcanzar el nivel de aceptación de un producto que es, por así decirlo, extranjero, al que le vamos a poner que sería como un nacional. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hello, team. Hello, teacher. Hi. Okay, how are you so far? So you already have the main idea, I guess, because it is the same that you had yesterday. Are you discussing the strategies that you are going to use to uh, that fit the characteristic of the product? The one yes. that you're going to use to test it? Yes. yes. Okay, from the ones that we have here, which one are going are are you going to use? We have the the branded test, the blind test, the monadic method. We the, think um blind test and pair comparison test. Comparisons test. Pair and comparisons. Okay. Very good. Pair okay. comparison test. Pair comparison test. Yes. Okay. Good. So, how many minutes do you need to complete it to finish? Teacher, mm -hmm. I chart um, our methods. Methods. Method? Um, um, mm -hmm. like, um, we have. Um, one advantage um, for is blind test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Okay. I will give you another five minutes to complete uh, the information. And for tomorrow, you're going to do the presentation. Okay. So we're going to work in the um, homework. I'm going to close the rooms at 9.55. You okay. get ready for tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. Good. Let me check out the other rooms. Um. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. I'm giving you more time, okay? So, <laughs> <laughs> because time is running really fast. 
So at 9.55, I go into uh, close the rooms in order we can work on the homework. And this presentation will be for tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Good, thank you. No, sería otra. Hello, hello, team. Esta sería... Hello, teacher. Previene... Enfermedades cardíacas. So, guys, I'm going to close the rooms at 9.55. Okay. Because we're going to work on uh, in the homework. And tomorrow you're going to present it, okay? Okay. okay. Good. Thank you. I gave you more time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know that it, we don't have enough time. That is why I'm going to give you another two minutes. And at 9.55, I'm going to close the rooms. And we're going to work on the homework, right? Are you almost done? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Are you almost done? What's mean almost done? Almost done. Almost ah, done. Almost done. Yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> yeah, la hora, teacher, la hora. <laughs> okay, now it is okay. Um, probably sometimes because we really we speak really fast, we don't pronounce very well uh or clear the words right that okay. is why there are a lot of misunderstanding or that is the reason why we don't understand uh i don't know if you have a, a spoken with uh native speakers they they speak really fast really really fast when <laughs> when yes. i speak with when native speakers i say okay <laughs> I try to understand maybe the main ideas, right? But not everything that they are saying, yes. Some word. <laughs> yeah, really, really difficult sometimes. Teacher, but uh, you have problem with uh, native English. Native speakers? Yes, native speakers. No, I mean, I spoke, I speak with them every day, so... Ah, okay. Uh huh. I yes, that is why I is I'm still working a part time in a call center, just six hours per day. I like six it hours. Six hours per day. Uh huh. Ah, okay. I like it because um it helped me to to improve practice, to, to practice. Uh huh. Mm, and listening, okay. and speaking. And writing uh -huh. too, because we use writing and reading as well, because we read a lot of information to provide <laughs> the really? correct information to them. Yes. Uh, very interesting. Teacher, mm -hmm. how long do you uh, learn in very nice speak English or understand English? How long I, it took me? Oh my God, a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. A lot of years. Really? Um, yeah, I started to, to learn on, English. Ah, uh, sorry, Andres. I have a question. In your uh -huh. experience, do you think that right now in this time, in these years, that is easier or harder to apply in a call center? Easier. Uh, easier. Yes, it is. Because I imagine that we need, we have a lot of tools to improve the English, maybe. Because um, Res nowadays to... we have more tools or more resources to learn okay. faster. Now it's easier. And also they give you the opportunity if you don't reach the 
uh, appropriate level that they request, but you have almost the level, they give you an opportunity to study in an academy and they pay you for that. But it means that you that you need just around three months to to be ready. And they try to to teach you vocabulary related with a call center in order you can get ready. Three months. In hmm? these three months, teacher, you are the same salary from the others um, workers. Not the job. same. Oh. No, not not the same because you are you are not an employee. You are like a potential employee, but they pay you. They pay <laughs> you. Potential employee. Yeah, they pay you for uh maybe your food or your transportation. Mm -hmm. You are a little bit to so became an employees. Yeah. A potential employees. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and close this because it's, it's almost time. Okay, let me close the rooms. I forgot about that. Okay, teacher. We okay. need to speak more. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I can see that you are back. Okay, really good. Uh, how was your practice? At the end, you um have more time to practice. How was everything? Good. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. It's, yeah. oh, okay. it's a good yeah. experience. It's good. Interesting experience. Good. Okay. Thank you so much. Um because of the time, I extended the time. And at the end I didn't realize <laughs> because we were speaking. Okay, in a yes. group. Um we're going to move homework six for tomorrow. So that means that tomorrow we're going to do homework six and seven, okay? Uh, okay. So point two and point and 2.2 two point two and 2.3 two tomorrow. <coughs> but I related to, to this topic that we have studied, okay? Tomorrow we're going to do the presentations that we have pending. Um, I hope you get ready. If you didn't finish your presentation, you can do it, okay? And you can have your final presentation really good for tomorrow. Okay, so that will be everything for today. Thank you so much for your attendance and for um, your participation and everything, okay? I really enjoy working with you, okay? Have an excellent night and see you tomorrow. See you, See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Take care, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.